Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Boy, it's so good to see all y'all. My brother Salim, man, it's been a long time, brother. I heard about the great things she's doing down there in Washington, D.C. My wife used to work for the Clara Muhammad School over there. And brother Wallace, thank you again. Once again, it's always good to see you. Abu Bakr, Elias, man, all my brothers. Praise be to Allah um, uh, for this wonderful place uh, that we have here to meet and to talk about a lot of the things that affect us. And I did, uh, first things first, because I'm not going to tap a lot of time. Uh, <clears throat> uh, we did get the confirmation on the color guard, uh, Imam Elam. Okay. We did get the confirmation on the color guard. And Brother Daniel, who's heading up the situation, is doing much better. He's talking to everybody. And so we all, we thought that uh, things were looking kind of bleak at one particular point. So now that we have been blessed to... Uh, to uh, have him recover, and so he's doing pretty well. Bismillah uh, ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. He's a jaya nasrahi wa al-fatwa la ayat al-nasi yad kaluna fi din al-lahi afwaje wa sabbi bilhamdi rabbike wa staqfiruhu inahu kana tuwebe. When it comes to help of Allah and victory, and we do see the people enter Allah's religion in crowds that celebrate the praises of your Lord for he's off returning most merciful. So once again, um, we thank Allah for the transitions that we have come to and we support all our leaders. And I'm here today once again uh, in, in referencing Mava and our position that we are to support the Muslim Fertilism Day Parade and along with uh, uh, Wallace the third, a second, that what we will be doing is inviting all our friends and all our uh, participants out there and business associates and other individuals to be with us to help make this thing successful. And once again, on the educational piece, the Holy Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, says that the first ones of us that will enter paradise will be the ones who love each other for Allah's sake, and that we are to seek knowledge from the cradle to the grave. I myself have worked in education for 27 years, been a college recruiter, and uh, did advertising from everybody, from governors. Everybody in Chicago, except for the University of Chicago and Northwestern, have recruited for uh, Governor State, Chicago State, uh, all the city colleges of Chicago, as well as Columbia, Roosevelt, National Lewis, Robert Morris, and all those folks. So I do understand, sister, and I would like to exchange information with you. And once again, well, we're here today on our educational piece to represent uh, our, our other component of our business. And as we have been working with MAVA to provide business opportunities for individuals to make money so we can support this wonderful facility that we have here as well as provide for our families uh, needed services and to help uh, structure our position so that we can ensure, protect, and uh, just bring about the things that we need. So I have with me today a very special guest, one of the brothers that uh, is working with me and he's helping me to fulfill this mission. Because Honorable Elijah Muhammad had mentioned to us on so many occasions that we must have a plan for self. And I was listening to Brother Wallace the second as he was talking about that showing his card. That is a plan for self. So in following with that, we are uh, very excited that we also have a plan for self because we believe in empowering ourselves. Once again, this educational piece in colleges teach us how to work for everybody else. But how many programs actually teach us how to work for self? So once again, we're here <coughs> excuse me, to represent that one component that we believe that will help us uh, work for self. So <coughs> without further ado, I'd like to bring up Mr. Jamal Muhammad. <coughs> Please help me bring him up. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Beautiful. Well, I thank you for allowing us to have a few words 
uh, with you on the subject of business. Uh, most importantly, I'd like to thank uh, Almighty Allah, God, for uh, giving us the opportunity to share as brothers and sisters in the cause of Islam. None of this, any of this could happen possibly uh, without Allah's permission and His, and His uh, active and permissive will. However, none of this also could happen. Uh, I was so thankful and, and grateful. I felt right at home uh, because when I came in, I had saw uh, Brother uh, W.D. Muhammad II, but I keep seeing pictures of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, and I know none of this could even happen or take place without the, his grandfather, so we want to give him thank and respect for the work that was paid before us today, as well as his father, uh, W.D. Muhammad, because the mission cannot carry on unless it comes through an individual that we constantly, continually to carry on Allah's mission. Right. So I thank them as well. I'm also Brother Kareem, uh, who been working with me for about a couple years now, uh, tireless work in the community to help our people, and Sister Camila and Brother Thomas uh, have been helping us as well in taking the fight to our people. Well, what is our mission? Our mission, uh, we're in the financial service business. I'm the vice president of uh, the financial service uh, organization. And what we do is we show people things about money that the wealthy know but have not necessarily shared with us. So with all you are getting, the book says get wisdom, but with all you are getting, get understanding. And so, you know, we could be Bible toting, Quran toting, scripture quoting, but also could be broke. You don't like that? Now, what we're here to do is share with you the principles of money, not in its entirety today, but as a program that could possibly help us free ourselves from the economic struggle that we find ourselves in. Does that make sense? And so there's some rules of, of getting wealthy or the rules of business. And one of the things that if you get nothing here today is that you want to be able to be in a position to create generational wealth. Too many times in our communities we pass away and we have to pass the hat around. We weren't able to leave anything for our children, 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 children. Does that make sense? And so, but what they do in Barrington and Winneka, they sit around the table and they talk to their children about money. <laughs> and some of those rules, is one of the rules is called a rule of 72, that you uh, save money over long periods of time, lest your money, uh, be, so that you may be able to retire well or leave something for your children and it may not be the just the debt and the responsibility that we have. Does that make sense? And that comes in a form of life insurance. They call it creating generational wealth. See, Grandma and them loved us, but Grandma and them didn't necessarily leave us anything. Does that make sense? But some ethnic groups and communities, they weren't able to learn the things about money, whereby when we all go back to our maker, we can leave something for generation to generation to constantly live, to live through them. And that is created through off times life insurance. Grandma left you 5,000, 10,000, couldn't even have enough to, to, to bury him. Does that make sense? But what we did is we showed you, or we show our people the same things or, or those rules of money to be able to uh, leave to our children's children's children, then we can create business. Then we can create community. Then we can create hospitals. Then we get a chance to create schools. And then we can continue the program of a mosque care or continue a program of W.D. Muhammad or support the your program uh, by this brother the second. That's how we do that. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? That don't make sense to you? Oh, a little call and response. Does that make sense? Yes, and so what we're going to do through Camila and Brother Thomas and Brother Kareem and hopefully the help and support of... of